today I want to mention uh, a program called um, VLC. Now it's a great, great program for playing back video. So all of you out there having trouble um, when you get a video from a friend or whatever it might be and you double click on it, you know it opens in Windows Media Player or uh, any other players that you might have installed on your system and it doesn't work. Don't have the proper codec. Well, I've never actually had this problem with VLC and I want to show you how to get it. So if you open up a um, Internet Explorer window or a browser window and I'm just going to go to Google I'm going to search VLC and when you search VLC you get an official downloads of VLC media player this is called videoland.org this is the correct site there's also some sites out there that try to get you to download it um, from different sites you know these types of ones here and what happens is you get it, but you're going to get a bunch of other stuff, you know, a bunch of browser toolbars and all these things. So you want to get the download from videolan.org. So if I go to the site, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I recommend uh, supporting um, VLC. It's a great product I do. Um, and because of how well they do it and they offer it for free, it's a good idea to support them. Uh, we have a button here. It says download VLC. If I click that, it goes to a download page. It's going to say my download is going to start in a few seconds here. There it is. Now you could save it to your computer uh, or you can simply run it uh, from the site. So if I hit run, it's going to download it. It's a pretty fast download. It's a small kind of nimble uh, player, a lot of good features in it. Uh, and it will play, like I said, just about any video that, uh, that you can find. Uh, so once it completes the download, it'll run the security scan. I assure you, if you get it from that website I mentioned to you, you're not going to have a problem. It loads setup and it's going to walk you through. So uh, it has a wizard for install. It's really straightforward. Uh, if you have uh, didn't have it before, then obviously it's going to say a new install. Because I have it already installed, it's asking me to upgrade. So I could choose upgrade. It goes through the extraction process. We'll just kind of speed through this. And at the end, it says completing. Uh, do you want to run it? Finish. And then here you have it. It runs the VLC player. I'm going to make this window a bit smaller so it's uh, a little bit manageable. You can see it. And once you have the player loaded, uh, you can open files. You can open multiple files. You can even open up network streams to play within VLC any streams that you'd find over on the internet. Uh, open recent media, obviously, you have playback controls, audio controls, video, subtitles, lots of different features uh, within VLC. And one thing I will just mention to you, if you have a video and you wanted to open it um, using VLC, what you can do is you can right click on it and choose open with, and that will allow you to uh, choose VLC media player if it wasn't set as your default media player. So there you have it. That's VLC. Give it a shot. It's a great product. Don't forget to donate if you can. And I will see you tomorrow.